I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas found me, I let it die, gotta watch the time. Greetings my kindreds, a welcome back, I know, your girl hasn't missed it for the past 11 days, but that's because I've been working on some personal things, and it just needs to be this. But we back, and we here, and I want to say, Happy New Year! Oh my God, it's a new motherfucking year, and we made it. No, seriously, we made it. Everybody did not make it to 2022, obviously, and for that, I am forever grateful, and I want to do a moment of silence for being one of the lucky ones. Okay, but yeah. I figured our first vlog could be a recap of 2021 because everything that happened in 2021, we gonna, we gonna wrap it up and we gonna leave it in 2021, okay? So we had a lot of ups and downs in 2021. I had more downs than ups that I can count on, that I, that I can count. Well, no, let's not have that mentality. Everything happens for a reason. So even the bad things happen for a good reason. It is what it is. But yeah, we're gonna do a quick little recap of 2021 and then we're gonna get on to the new year, okay? <laughs> I'm like super excited for this year, y'all. You don't even know. <laughs> but it's the new year. It's a new, <laughs> I'm whispering. It's a new year, y'all. Oh my God. I am forever grateful. Oh, bitch. We were going out into the snow, so I'm excited. I had to switch up the hair. Had to throw in the red, because we got on the all white. It only made sense. Yes. <laughs> Let's get the ski fist. Yes, girl. Yeah. I don't have no snow boots. It's okay. Work with the fur. Okay. Boots with the fur. With the fur. Jeez, look at the besties. Bumba. Bumba clad. Jeez. Ready to take a big stand? Am I? Stand up. Was that the only one who did that? The way you want to do is you want to. I was trying to be a good girl today and I was trying to record me going down and when I did that I fell straight on my ass y'all and it wasn't like a regular fall I fell straight on my ass all that pressure and all that pain went up my back I was like Lord have mercy why didn't this happen when I was in the military One of you lucky ladies is a lucky son of a bitch because this is like my lucky jar. Okay, I'm about to close my eyes and pick out the winner. Oh, bitch, you want a free wig? You want a free wig? You want a free wig? <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Say I'm getting big. I'm a big girl now. Say I'm a big girl now. Mommy got to do a transformation real quick, okay? For a second. Look at your mama. Think, think. Oh. Think, think. Oh my god. Look at that little thing. So think, think. You don't want to eat a brown banana, but what? But it's about a brown banana. 
We don't want to eat a brown banana, but you a. This is a nasty dick. You don't want to eat a brown banana, but you'll suck a nasty dick. Yeah, you might as well eat that brown banana. I don't know that chain. Well, and come across my page. Across man? Come across man. Because I won't eat a brown banana, and I sure won't suck a nasty dick. What was the story? No I was story. like not even one years old at the daycare, and then what happened? And I kidnapped you. How? I took you out of the house and what? rain. How'd you rain. do that? How was you able to kidnap me? Because the baby said went upstairs, and I took you and ran out the house. And then how they get me back? I think I brought you back two days later. Dang. <laughs> but, but your mama, she ain't called because she won't worry. She know uh -oh. that you was all right. But she just she said I was crazy or something. That's true love right there. Look at mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. True mm -hmm. love. How hey, y'all doing? Be quiet. Bless. All right, This is me, Leah Rahman Rahim. This man is Rahman Rahim. You know, I'm doing Rahman Rahim. Robin Alamin, Rahmani Rahim, Nay Likiyom Mabin, Iyakara Habubu Wa 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 <laughs> what you doing with that? What you gonna do with that? Oh, Lord. Okay, don't take it. This is yours right here, okay? I got my lip gloss. I got my lip gloss. I got my lip gloss. Look like I'm not getting on the road until 4. It's 327 right now. Meaning I'm not gonna get to Atlanta until like 12, 12 30. And I hope I don't miss all the fun. I'm at day number one. I didn't get to vlog all day because we were like rushing, trying to find something to wear. It was just so bad, but I finally made it. I'm happy birthday, beautiful. She looks so good. I know that's right. That's the only thing before the Yeah. I was like, You know, I've always been awkward taking photos. I'm a little nervous taking photos with a photographer because I'm just like, uh, I'm not a model. I'm like, I just take my own photos, you know? I know my own ankles. Like, I'm about to give this photographer like so much trouble and they don't even know what's coming. It say nothing, you keep it so one, honey. I can't let none of these niggas get one up on me. I go back, I tell you, you better run from me. Give hold of my niggas, them niggas love money. Adios to them bitches, can't get a hug from me. I'm high on life, that's what it does for me. My numbers going up, I feel a buzz coming. Young nigga, young nigga. Your friends bad too, then some come with you. And be like, bitch, you put their own shit, they don't like gold diggers. With nobody remember the times I had nowhere to go. Every time that I turn around, I'm giving back. Once they wake up, me dead, it ain't no getting back. Hey, Google, pause. I had to pause, hey, Google, because I just wanted to say I feel like every body but specifically every man and specifically even more specifically every black man should listen to reggae music i feel like that type of music nine times out of ten always sends a positive message and a how to be gentle how to um love and, and treat a woman it's like proof that masculinity just isn't measured off of how hard you can beat your chest but but is measured through, you know, um, you being kind and gentle and being a true leader. A lot of men want to lead, but don't know how to lead. And you, like he just said, 
I want to be your sole provider. A lot of young men don't think like that. Like, I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like reggae music always just puts me in a good spirit and it gives me faith. Like reggae music gives me faith. Um, when I listen to reggae music, I be like, there is like true love out there. There's a black man who is going to love and adore me, um, who is going to um, be patient with me, who's going to be kind to me, who's going to be gentle with me, uh, who is also going to be stern with me, who is also going to have the ability to actually lead and guide me, um, someone that I can truly trust and be submissive to. Um, that's what reggae music gives me. It gives me hope. It's kind of hard to be submissive when you don't trust um, the direction that who you choose to be with is going. So, yeah, that's just my little telltale on reggae music. Let's get back to the feel good and let's start cooking, baby. But I don't like taking the train and a bus if I don't have to, especially during COVID. So if you're telling me, like I was perfectly fine with meeting you there. I meet you there how I want to get there. You meet me there how you want to get there. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell me to Uber to your house so we can go so we can go to our destination together. And you ain't got a a, a, a legitimate way, not a legitimate way, but you ain't got uh for me a legitimate way for us getting to our location because, like I said, if I would have taken a train to his house and then we just took the train together, cool. But I'm Uber into your house. Why the fuck do I want to take the train from Brooklyn to fucking Manhattan? And it's cold outside in the middle of a motherfucking pandemic. Like, no, I don't want to do that if I don't have to. No, nigga, I'm just irritated already. So yeah, like things that you say, I'm looking at you like. What that's up This motherfucker talking about the train after he done split the tab with me. Oh, he got fucked up. <laughs> So I'm going to spend my entire day like prepping for this trip this weekend. I'm super excited because I've been cooped up in the house for like two months now. Uh, I had like one little uh, weekend when Jayla came, but. But that was like. Treacherous. <laughs> no, we had fun, but it didn't go as planned. Now, I'm waiting on Antonio to get here. Antonio's gonna help me pack, make reservations, straighten up. Before he get here, I'm gonna go ahead and go start my laundry. I forgot what Nashe calls you guys. Nashe, what do you call your subscribers? Kendrick. Hey, Kendrick. <laughs> This I should have started the vlog. <laughs> Not feeling it short. Not feeling it short. And then you got death on wheels. Potentially gonna have to drive for you as well. I just, I, yeah, see, get some rest. <laughs> now look at you. You called her death on wheels. Death on fucking wheels, bro. But that's how I met her too. Her head ass. I knew who she was. But I remember, because we were talking, and matter of fact, I was pissed off at you. And then I get a random stupid ass call talking about, some, can you pick me up from Lake Ellis? Oh, and my friend is with me. Oh. Yeah, I was remember all of this shit, and I don't fucking know why. Why I actually pick you up from Lake Edwards? Man, y'all was calling me on some bald head hoe shit shit back then. Bald head hoe shit, bald head hoe shit. I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas doing. I don't, I don't know, know. I don't know bald head hoe shit. And I ain't talking to you to have them on. And it took everything in me to fucking come get you. Because I literally was like, fuck you. Baby, it's cold out there. And I bought my baby Bryson. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all haven't seen Bryson in so long. But Bryson is definitely going out of town with me. Y'all you know, I'm a good mom. I'm not gonna leave my baby at home. My mom already watching Nala. It's gonna be me and Bryson this weekend. Woo! Hello! Cat, bitch, I was rushed. You can't vlog me looking like this. I look like this. Bitch, you have a wig on. It's okay. Cause we gonna have a fucking game! I should call fucking CPS on your ass, bitch. We got Bryson looking how the fuck Bryson looking right now. Bryson, 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 Bryson,
We're so glad you are not going to have kids for real, bitch, because your baby out here looking crazy. Girl, he got the Donald Trump on. Right. Do you see this? That baby got a slick bag. We need to ask him what it is. The back of his head nappy as fuck. You do everybody else there except for your baby. You do that damn child support on crab legs and weed. <laughs> This heifer came up in here with a whole bag full of cleaning products. Oh, I did, and I will. And <laughs> including I will. Windex. I would have never thought to bring Windex. It's always such an antibacterial, antiviral Windex. That's what I got it. Because we about to stay poached. Bryson has um, been through it. Um, but this is Bryson, baby Bryson. And this is baby Yoda. This is baby Yoda. Say hi. Ready for some tequila. Oh, so cute. So we brought the boys along and left the girls behind because we left the girls with their grandparents. I was so nervous that I wasn't going to be able to um, receive my uh, package from Matt Collection. I ordered like some bathing suits and stuff. Um, and it finally came in yesterday just in time. Super excited. <laughs> something absolutely new today we got a ponytail in I wish I would have had my 40 inches in because that ponytail would have been fire but I had like thought that I was gonna wear my hair down but then my good old friend Antonio was like no bitch wear your hair up <laughs> I have on this black dress honestly that I got from Fashion Nova super cute and my um my JBW watch and my go presidential jewelry and birthday girl has on head to toe Gucci. Period. <laughs> Look who came to visit. Look who came to visit his nephew. Oh, this is a this is a photogenic moment right here. Oh, you messed up his bun. It was already messed up. But you took plat. You gonna plat it? You know how to plat? Oh, period. Oh. Your legs look strong. You been working out? Them things strong. <laughs> oh, let's take a shot. I haven't seen my friend what? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 16, 17, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. Three years? It's been, it's been three years. Three years too long. Cheers to friendship. Okay, so the Miami trip was cut really short. Sure, but I mean, whatever. Honey, I'm sure I can get the fuck over! Stupid bitch! They see a whole fucking arrow right there, and I'm about to smash right and fucking to it, but these bitches don't want to fucking let me over. Fucking asshole.
Love sister girls. Baby shower. Oh. Huh? Hey girl, you know I'm a flower girl. She's a fly girl. She's a fly girl. She's an angel. Yes. Um, but also while I was in Virginia, I went ahead and shared some news with my mom that I was like a little nervous and hesitant to do, but I was like, you know what, this is my mom. Like, I can't keep this from her, so I might as well just put my big girl panties on and tell her and I'm going to tell you guys as well I decided to get a BBL <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, she was talking to Nala. She was like, your mom wants to be like the rest of these bras in and off of the table because she doesn't want to do the hard work and blah, 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 blah. Now, today is Saturday, May 29th, a day and a half before your, your girl's birthday. Um, we are flying out to LA. Dream Hollywood Hotel. That's where I pay to stay. Room costs $1,500 for three nights, right? On their main website, it has access. They have the, the 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 restaurant. They have the they have the restaurant. They have the pool. They got the cabanas. They got um, a gym. You know, shit like that. Whatever. Cool. It's a fire ass hotel. So okay, I book reservations or whatever. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know how this shit work. I just assume the shit is like advertised on your fucking website. You know what I'm saying? Any hotel that I've been to, I've been able to eat and dine there or whatever it has to be. So the reason why I chose Dream Hollywood Hotel because the shit is fire. I don't want to drive all over the place. This was a last minute trip one. I don't have reservations for nothing because I don't know what the fuck is going on during Memorial Day weekend. Two, three, I just figured I picked the, the, a fire hotel and just enjoyed their fucking amenities. amenities. So I come here, I check in late Saturday night. I ask them, I wanted to make reservations for tomorrow, um, tomorrow, tomorrow um, afternoon for brunch. You know, da da da. They don't have no openings. Okay, you don't have no openings. What they gotta do with me? You don't have you you don't have no openings. You don't, you. What do you mean? You so the public has primary access to your restaurant in the hotel, and not your guests that stay in the pay here. Make that make sense to me. Just make that make sense to me. Make that make sense to me. You telling me that your guest does not have access to dine, but the public do? Or not that the public do. The public is primary over your fucking guest? Are you serious? I hate it when, when restaurants be like, oh, we're booked. No, bitch, you're not fucking booked. Everybody who makes a reservation is not going to fucking make it. Let's just be clear here. Let's be clear. Even if you was to have me on a waiting list, you didn't even bother to have me on a waiting list. You tell me, oh no, um, um, we're fully booked, you know, da da da. Why you didn't, when I booked my reservation, when I called and booked my, cause I called. When I called and booked my reservation, why you didn't tell me that? When I checked in, why you didn't tell me that? Oh, there's limited access to the dining. You know, you might not be able to sit. You know, before I checked in, before I gave you my motherfucking money, why you didn't tell me that? I'm annoyed as hell. One, yes, my birthday trip was last minute because y'all know I wasn't able to get my procedure. Okay, cool. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to LA, kick it and chill. Go to the, the nice restaurant and enjoy, go to the nice hotel and enjoy the restaurant. No! No, 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 no. That's not what's happening right now. So now I have to take extra energy out of my goddamn energy, if that even makes sense. To find somewhere for me to enjoy my goddamn birthday. This is ghetto. This is fucking ghetto. Okay, so we made it to pre-op and now I'm just like looking over the paperwork and signing. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I haven't been vlogging a lot because I'm really nervous. Y'all, I'm nervous. <laughs> um. 
worst thing that you can do or the recovery house can do is rush you off to the hospital. That is the worst thing you can do. Okay. Uh, I got my first um, massage today. <laughs> oh. Is and I'm about to get clean. Oh dear. Whatever. I think I like my results. We shall see. We shall see. But I figured the smaller my waist get, the more it would look like, you know what I'm saying, I paid for some hips. And then this is what the movie is giving with the Faha. She is giving thicker than a snicker. Kendra's the body is giving thicker than a mother freaking snicker, okay? No, um, seriously, I'm like really happy with my results um, now that I am two and a half months, almost three months post-op. packed up everything is in the u-haul and i had my like little moment last night where i was like balling tears because i was like i really don't want to leave new york but i do feel like this next chapter is gonna be fire you ready to go to a new home baby girl think that i'm ready to go mommy think I'm pregame at my house no I don't have any furniture yet but um, I got a little vibe going on over here I'm, I'm getting like some snacks and some food ready for like people and then I have like my drink um, little station where I'm gonna be making everybody cocktails and while I'm doing my hair and makeup I have like this whole little selfie station area where the girls can um, you know be preoccupied take their selfies do their TikTok videos or whatever they need to do while I am trying to get myself ready.
I've had so many chances to just run and never look back and I chose not to. I'm just here to tell you guys that if you're going through something like that, run, get away. If you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your friends and family because they're going to want to be the ones who are mourning your death when you're gone. Time to heal. Better than what you was earlier. Yeah. Alright. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And we are back. I've been using Jewelry skincare products since about like March. And girl, my skin loves this shit. So I'm gonna be rocking with it for a little lot of bit of time. Um, as you can tell, the swelling of my face went down drastically, which I'm very pleased about. I mean, I still have a lot of swelling over here and here, but that's because that is where the bone was um, fractured. Yeah, let's just do this little trial haul real quick, cause <laughs> I feel a little bit better once since I did that retail therapy. You know what I'm saying? That shit is real. <laughs> Good time it was so beautiful and it felt so good to just be my family and just and i'm about to go to my dad's job to go get him because i didn't want to do this by myself and my mom has to work as well i'm gonna go to the circuit court and uh, today's the day that we are filing for divorce this is hard and I'm tired of like crying on camera, so I don't do that. But this is like really hard for me. Every day has been, ooh. <laughs> Every day has been really hard. Um, yeah, so we, I actually got married in Washington, D.C in 2014 July 31st 2014 but I'm a resident still of Virginia because of my driver's license so I should be able to file for a divorce here in Virginia because I haven't lived in in um, Georgia long enough and I don't want to travel all the way back to New York <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm about to do. Um, I'm about to go get me some Starbucks first to kind of like lift my spirit. Um, Cause I still have to wait for my dad to send me the address. <laughs> People say time is valuable, right? I say my time is fucking expensive. Oh. And I don't have time to be fucking around, wasting my breath and energy on a motherfucker who ain't got that living. So if I take my time to sit you down at any capacity, whether it's Purposely saying, hey, come in and sit down, we need to talk. Or if we in situations where we have time to conversate, mm -hmm. and I talk to you, and I try to guide you and help you and all that kind of stuff, you can't come back and say, you know, like you tried to hit me with that shit before about us putting you on a pedestal and all this kind of shit. Nigga, get out of here. Get out, get out of that shit. That's not the fucking case. That's my daughter. So 
you know, that whole woe is me and everybody against me and all that kind of fuck all that nigga. You proving that you yeah. ain't shit. You know, and I'm and I'm trying to give you the been trying to give this shit the benefit of the doubt because this is what my daughter wants. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I kind of that's why I had to back off the shit because I'm like this shit is not gonna change until you decide that you didn't have enough. You know what I'm saying? And then I can make the moves and do what I need to do because I'm not gonna you know like I said I wasn't trying to put myself in 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 jeopardy. My livelihood, my job, my my fucking you know my freedom. You know, all that kind of shit. You're fucking with a motherfucker like that because I already know how it's gonna have to go down. If you can't communicate and deal with my daughter without putting your hands on her, then you don't need to deal with her. You know what I'm saying? Straight the fuck out. And you know, he, and he even tried to hit me with that pedestal shit that day and I told him the same. That's when I told him that shit. You know, I'm like, dude, that's my fucking child, man. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna fucking take, go against my daughter for you. No. I'm adult enough, mature enough, old enough to be able to gather the information and make my own assessment. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. Because like I said, I don't give a fuck if she cuss you out, call you a punk motherfucker, whatever the fuck the case may be. Mm -hmm. You still need to restrain yourself and not put your fucking hands on it. You can cuss her out. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave. You can do all kinds of shit. But don't put your fucking hands on it. But you know, he's, just, he's a fucking, he's an idiot. Fuck it. Up in the building, gotta officially say hi. What's up, Kendrick? Nah, this is what I feel like. You trust your girl, you believe. Like, yeah, I trust her. She got a guy best friend, how you feel about that? Oh, we was just talking about that, and I don't know, I don't really trust those. So we like, all right, so call him. Call him and tell him that y'all broke up and see how he react. You know what I'm saying, see what he say. So she's like, all right, I'm gonna do that. So she called. She's like, yeah, me and me and uh, so and so just broke up. You know, blah blah blah. I'm just real sad. He was like, for real? I told you that nigga wasn't no good for you. <laughs> I told you that nigga wasn't no good for you. He was like, where you at right now? And she was like, she said somewhere I forgot. And he was just like, shit. Well, I'm a, I'm a slide through and I, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna hit it like I used to, like old time. Oh! That nigga Shit. instantly was like, yo. He just looked at her <laughs> and walked away. He was like, nah, this bitch for the street. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, on the in an interview though, like on some crazy shit. And we're gonna bring in midnight birthday. But in between time, we're gonna cook, get some food work done, and then turn the fuck up. How about that? Yo, 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 what's up, what's up? It's time to get busy, so let's kick this shit. Not Excuse me! What's with the song? Isn't this the audition for Pippin? No. She knows what she's doing a little bit. See? I know what we're doing. I'm, I'm the best motherfucker. No, I'm not the best. No, I'm not. I'm, one, I'm, the top, I'm one of the top five types of people that you need in your life. Top fives. Seriously. Why? You need a Najee in your life. Why? Because I bring life. To people boring ass motherfucking lives. I guess I'm a born in the fucking visual. I won't even talk about him. But he took that, he said, <laughs> he, he feel that way about himself. <laughs> that ain't my problem. So I'm about to actually get myself together to go run errands. Um, last week I had reached out to the crew because we do not like be talking like that. Like we haven't been talking like that lately. Everybody's been busy doing their own thing and whatnot, but Jay's birthday is today. And last week when I saw her, she was telling me like she didn't have any plans to the job. And I was like, why the hell she ain't gonna have any plans for birthday? So I created a group chat and I was like, what what y'all wanna do? Y'all wanna do like a surprise thing for her birthday? Cause da da da. So everybody got on board and we're about to uh her and Trey, I think she's gonna go do a photo shoot. So while she's at her photo shoot later on today, me and Jade and Jasmine is going to sneak in the apartment.
was heaven sent and God placed it on my heart to write me. So please text or call if you ever just want to bet. And she gave me her number. I'm definitely going to FaceTime her in the morning because that was like super sweet and I really just want to say thank you. Um, that was really sweet. I got the box and I thought that it was so sweet. You had me crying last night. You have me bawling tears. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. You deserve it. I hope you're feeling better. Just made it home. <laughs> I done missed the party. They had a really cute setup. No one could be more proud of you and Robin but mommy. <laughs> over today y'all <laughs> but I want y'all to know that even the days that y'all just like completely over it where y'all don't even really just see the purpose of being here that um I don't know just find the purpose find the fucking reason there's a god damn reason um this year was a rude awakening year for me um had a lot of ups and uh way more downs but it's setting me up and preparing me to take on 2022 and I'm and I'm and I'm charging. I'm coming hard. I'm ready. Oh, it's 12. All right, Mother Baba, can you tap the bottom of your screen to see if you um can say anything? But we got 10 seconds left. Hey. Happy New Year! New Year! New Year! New Year! New Year! <laughs> I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. <laughs> <laughs> 